In this video, I want to show you how to create your own dynamic text narrations in Power BI. I'm going to show you some ideas on how to create and customize titles and text boxes, but also how to reuse and kind of hack these smart narratives and create your own narrations. All of that and more. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi, my name is Fanana and welcome to the Solutions Abroad YouTube channel where we cover tips, tricks, and best practices when working with Power BI. I upload new videos every week, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when a new one is out. So when you're working with Power BI, especially creating Power BI reports, you will know that you can have a lot of dynamic elements working together in your Power BI report. And as the author, it's your responsibility to make sure that when those interactions happen, that everything in the context of your reports still makes sense. So this means that if you have a chart that shows a certain set of values, you can't just create a manual text box to write your observations for that chart because that chart can change its values based on the interactions in your reports. So I want to show you something as an example. So here we have two visuals in our report. So we have a card here at the top which just shows total sales and a number. Then at the bottom, we have a bar chart that says total sales by category. So it just breaks down the total sales by the types of category of products that have been sold that contributed to the total sales. So you'll notice when I go to the bar chart here and select a category, it filters out the total sales card at the top. So now um, we have the beverages selected. It shows the total sales for beverages on the card up there. Let's say we want to change the title of the card to say um, we want to show for which category this sales is for. So we have the beverage selected. We want to say this is total sales for beverages. And consequently, if we change the selection, let's say we want to select produce, we know that it shows the total sales for produce. So we want the name of the category to be on this title here. And as you'll know, you can't just type it. I mean, obviously you can, uh, if you wanted to, you can go title here, total sales uh, for produce. But you'll know that because we have this dynamic element here, uh, if you click beverages here, and this doesn't make sense anymore, right? So this is what I mean uh, by dynamic narrations. We want to dynamically change some values based on the interactions in your report. So to create these dynamic elements is actually pretty simple. So first we're gonna create a new measure here. So we're gonna create one uh, total sales title. And we're gonna start by just writing total sales. And this is what uh, a measure uh, that we will use looks like. Um, and we're creating a measure because um, if you see here on the title text of the uh, card, you'll see an FX button here, which means that you can use an expression as the title for that uh, visual. So to show you that, we just click FX here. And it says, okay, so for the text, what do you want to base it on? So we'll just simply use the total sales title that we've created here. So you'll see instead of writing here in the text box, it's just using the value that you have in this measure. And we're creating that link because we want this value or this result to be dynamic based on the selections in our report. So we're gonna go back to the total sales title here. And we're gonna create a concatenation here. So we'll just create an end here. And then we'll create an if statement. So if a column has one value, so let's say, um, so this basically means if a category, if one category is selected in our report, do something. So in the true where it says it's true, we're gonna create a text that says four, and then we're gonna create max just to aggregate the category name. And that's it. So I'm just gonna format this just for you to read and see what this does. So here we go. So this is the condition. So you're saying if uh, it has one value, so if something is selected, just give me the category name and just give me total sales for this thing. 
uh, we don't put that false because um, what we want to do is if there is nothing selected we just want to show total sales so we're just gonna hit enter there and you'll see it applies for beverages there so uh, just just gonna drag it down here and let's have a look at that DAX formula that we've got. So it's saying, so it's giving total sales and it's detected that we've selected one, we've selected beverages here. So it's saying, okay, uh, so I need to concatenate total sales for and whatever the category name that is selected, which is at this moment beverages. So you've now created a dynamic element in your report and just to show you that it works, if we select something else in this category, you'll see it changes dynamically based on our selections, which is what we wanted. So now that you know how to create dynamic elements in your visuals, like let's say this card title, for example, let's take it to the next level. So let's say we're gonna just deselect this and go back to how it was before. So let's say we want to uh, narrate on this chart. So we want some text explanations to say, some basic analysis like things like oh, which category had the most amount of sales or which one had the least amount of sales um, and you can do the same thing so obviously you can uh, create a measure or you can have a text here and just you know create a dynamic element or create a measure in the same way that we did here however there's a faster way to do this which is called the smart narratives now I've covered it in the past and I didn't really use it as in depth as I have recently. So I thought I'd cover it again. However, if you want to get an overview of how that works, go check out that video. But anyway, there's not much to learn anyway, besides uh, it's all done for you. It pretty much just does the narration. It generates it for you to just use. Um, so to use it, you just need to get a visual. So this one, for example, we just copy and paste it just to duplicate it and then now that you have this selected so let's say we want the smart narratives analyzing uh, this visual so you simply just go to the visualizations pane here and click smart narratives so you see that it generates uh, some dynamic uh, narrations for you automatically so you didn't really have to do anything so if you see what it's saying here, um, it's observing a couple of things. So it's observing the highest uh, total sales, the lowest total sales, and also the range of the sales. So it's generated as some narratives here, but what it's done is essentially just created uh, and constructed this narrative for you. Um, but really it's just a text box. So you'll see here, you can type whatever you want. If we just, you can see here, you can just type whatever you want. Uh, and any elements in this visual with uh, uh, underline with the blue is a dynamic element. So what that means is that it's created a variable, a value, uh, which the smart narratives automatically created for you and then crafted into this narrative. So let's say, for example, we click beverages here. You'll see that it opens up the value section here in the smart narratives and it shows you how the value was generated. It's automatically generated and it tells you the name of the value it says V2 here. Keep that in mind because we're going to use that later. So this narrative is great. It auto generates some uh, quick observations for us. As I said, the highest, the lowest, the range, whatever. But let's say we don't like how it's written. Uh, so let's say, you know, it's for example, we don't want the range, for example, right? We, we don't care what the range is. Uh, and let's say we do care about, let's say which category had the total highest sales, uh, but we don't want anything else uh, comparing to the total sales, uh, the lowest total sales, it, I mean, it's, it's useless for us. And let's say we want to edit this narrative a little bit further. Um, you'll see that if you, let's say, just try to edit it, actually just click backspace there and it deleted everything. Uh, and that's because the smart narratives generated the kind of the, the narrations for you. But because what it's been inserted on is a text box, it means that you can write your own customized narrations and reuse some of these dynamic elements that is generated for you. So let's say um, we want to just write uh, a narration here saying beverages had the highest sales 
uh, in total, right? So this is what we want, uh, just just to start with. And we want the beverages to be dynamic. It's pretty simple. You just uh, delete that one. You go to review. And here is where the auto-generated values uh, should show up. Um, if it doesn't, you'll have to toggle it on to say, show me all the auto-generated values that the smart narratives have created. Um, and it will list you a lot of things. So that's why I told you to remember what the number or the uh, the name of the value here, because that's what we'll use. I remember it's the V2. So we'll just click insert value here. And there you go. So you have uh, the smart narratives here. Um, you can just delete them. Uh, the values are already saved. So here you go. So you can customize now the narratives here while reusing some of the auto-generated values that uh, Power BI has created for you through smart narratives. And that's really it for this video. So as you saw, there are lots of opportunities for you to create dynamic values to make your life a lot easier when it comes to doing some storytelling, which also in turn helps make a better user experience for your users. So I hope you've learned something today. Thanks for watching as usual. Give this video a like if you found it useful. Give it a dislike if you didn't so not to do better for next time. Ask your questions in the comment section box below so I can help you and you can help others. If you really like this video, we have a Patreon page where you can support the channel and get exclusive perks like early access, demo files, and credits at the end of these videos. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.